So here we have a tropical soda apple plant. This one is easily identifiable by its club shaped leaf with minimal lobing. It's distinct cream midrib and veins along the leaf and cream spikes along the midrib of the plant. The spikes along the stem are also cream. The most identifiable part of the plant are the fruits. The fruits have a watermelon print on them. When they are immature, they grow to just smaller than a ping pong ball. And when they are mature, they go bright yellow. The flower is similar to that of a melon flower and it is white with a cream center. Tropical soda apple plants are not to be confused with giant devil's fig. It has one single stem with spines along the stem and the leaves are a lot bigger and deeply lobed. Giant devil's fig stands tall as one tree on one stem, whilst the tropical soda apple is multi-stemmed and branches out from many different places from the base and shrubs out across the ground rather than growing straight up like a giant devil's fig. Another weed that is commonly mistaken for tropical soda apple is the apple of Sodom. This is because the fruits have the similar markings like the watermelon that the tropical soda apple has. But how you can tell this plant different to the tropical soda apple is the leaves of the apple of Sodom are deeply lobed and they are a deep green and they have a shiny sheen to them rather than a matte sheen like the tropical soda apple. The apple of Sodom flowers are also purple and when the fruits are ripe, they go yellow first, like the tropical soda apple. Then when they are fully ripe, they go a deep purple to black color.